Welcome to Excel Basics video number 20. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Basics. Hey, in this video, we're going to talk about data analysis, the most uh, powerful feature of in Excel for data analysis, the pivot table. Now, pivot tables, we're looking at the end result here. We want to summarize from a data set uh, sales rep along this axis here and region along this. Similar to subtotals we did in the last uh, video except for in a table format. Now I'm going to scroll over to our data set. Here's our data set. Pivot table. How in the world do you get from this? Right, Because we have region field here and sales rep and if you scroll down there's a lot of records here. A lot of records. How in the world do you summarize like that? to get to this. Well, the first thing is pivot tables, people always think they're difficult. They're not at all difficult. The key is you have to you have to envision in your mind that this is the table you want. Once you have this picture in your mind, then doing a pivot table is easy. All right, what are the requirements? You have to have a data set with field names at the top, records in rows, no blanks anywhere, and this is just like what we did with sort and subtotals. You have to have a blank row between this data set and, and other data sets also. All right, so where do we go to get pivot tables? In 2007, you go insert, pivot table, pivot table. In 2003, you go to data menu, pivot table. Now, I'm going to click this button in 2007. This is one step in 2007. I'm going to click cancel, and let's see if I can remember this. Uh, D, I don't even remember it. Uh, I do remember it's Alt D P for pivot table. The reason why I'm showing you this is because this is the old wizard. It's three steps. You have to say it's in um, Excel here and say you want a pivot table and then click next and then you see the data it's trying to guess where the data is and if you have it set up correctly it's fine and then click next it says where do you want a new sheet or existing worksheet and then you click finish. But watch this this new insert pivot table it combine all of those basically into one step here uh, it's we're in Excel so that's uh, where it is you could use an external source it's got the data set right there and then asks what do you want new worksheet or existing worksheet we'll say new existing worksheet so this is the new improved 2007 one step I'm gonna click OK now remember we had it uh, pictured in our mind so it's easy to uh, envision now I'm gonna do this two ways this is the old 2003 uh, user interface and because uh, we know we want sales rep here and uh, region here we've already have that picture in our mind it's easy to create so in 2003 you would take the region and very carefully drop with the gray area into the column fields up here you can see that there's the blue in the right place which means it's going to the columns then you would take sales rep and you can see right there that the blue is not in the right place, but when you move there, it's in the right place for the uh, row fields here, just like that. And then you drop your sales into this area. Do you see how easy that is? Is that profound? Now I'm going to uncheck these and uh, convert this to 2007. I'm going to right click the pivot table, pivot table options, and then under display, I can say uncheck classic. So if you like the classic view, you can still see it in 2007, but you got to check that. There it is, that's how it looks here. And then you're supposed to use this area here. Uh, so we take the uh, region and we drag it to the columns. And then we take the uh, sales rep and we drag it to the row. And then we take the sales and drag it to the values. Now I'm going to close this field list. And there it is. There's your basic t pivot table. Just amazing. Now, one thing that's important about pivot tables is you want to try and use uh, the field settings to format because then when you move the pivot table around and stuff uh, the formatting will stick so I want to add some currency and you don't highlight in control one like we used to do you got to right click and go down to value field settings and then there's some cool things down here there's our 11 functions again that we saw with subtotals and there they all are you can change that we're going to keep it as sum but right here there is number format so you click that and then I'm gonna click uh, accounting 
I'm not going to show any dollar sign and then click OK and then click OK again. Now I'm going to right click and show field settings down here. Uh, it's also there's a bunch of pivot table ribbons up here under options. There's your field list and there's design there. Let's go to field list. You can show that. Now one thing I'm going to close that ribbon control F1. One thing that's nice about um, pivot tables is you can move them if your uh, manager comes in and says hey I don't like the way you have it set up you can simply move it you could actually in the 2007 you move them between areas but in 2000 I'm sorry in 2003 in that other uh, view you can just move the fields here or move the fields there but in 2007 you can simply click and drag and then notice you could instantly have this view which looks like subtotals or you could take your uh, sales rep and move them over here so that's why it's called a pivot table because it's so easy to move. If I right click uh, pivot table options and then display classic, I can show you how to do it in the older version. You simply um, uh, click and drag this field. You have to see that cursor right there. Click and you have to see the gray area and that's why it was a little bit harder in earlier versions. So that gray area is before and instantly it will drop it there. Now let's see if I can get my region and click and drag and there it is up there. So that's how to do it in 2007. Now there's some formatting. Um, you can pick whichever format you like. We'll pick that one right there. Hey, that looks pretty good. And then you can uh, print it out. Now we want to do a second pivot table. Um, uh, we, we saw how to, it's easy to move, how to create the pivot table, how to change the function, right? Right click value field settings. But now I want to show you, do another pivot table. I'm going to close this. Um, this sheet two doesn't look good, so I'm going to double click and type pivot table PT1, enter. Now let's go back here and I want to do a pivot table. Insert pivot table, pivot table. I'm going to say a new sheet. I'm going to immediately going to double click in and call it PT2. Enter. Now what I want to do here is deal with dates. It is uh, profound how quickly pivot tables can deal with dates. I want to show uh, months and years. And this is transactional data, right? How hard is it to create months and years from transactional data? It's kind of hard in, in a, a non-pivot table, but here we go. Let's see how to do it in a pivot table. You take the date and drag it over there in 2003. or down to row labels down here in 2007. Instantly, you get a huge list of all the dates. That's not what you want. You right-click, group. Unbelievable how easy this is. Be sure if you have multiple years to click... Uh, check years. So we got months and years and then click OK and just like that it groups it. That is just amazing. Now we can simply take our sales and drop it to values there in 2007 or to the drop data area there. Another amazing feature about pivot tables is there's a, what's called a report filter or a page filter in earlier versions. We can take the region and drag it up here in 2003 or down here in 2007 and there's a drop down so you can simply select whichever one you want uh, select multiple items is not available in earlier versions but I'm just gonna select uh, Midwest and click OK there's just the Midwest so it's a filter for the whole report Northeast click OK it shows Northeast another amazing uh, feature I'll go back up here and say all in 2000 and, or in both versions we can go to options and over here under pivot table under options here this is on the uh, pivot table toolbar in 2003 and it says show report filter pages in earlier versions it says show page filter you're not going to believe this I better click out of here what it will do is we'll take all five regions and make five new sheets with the name of each region so if you really had to print these out or you needed these hard copies, this is a great trick. Options, pivot table, pivot table option, oops. Options, pivot table, and pivot table options, the drop down. Again, this is on the pivot table toolbar in earlier versions. If you don't see it, right click any toolbar and point to pivot table toolbar. Now watch this. As soon as I click this, watch the sheets. In well, I forgot. It's we got to say what field because you could have more than one field but we only have one click OK and watch what happens down here just like that 
I'm going to close this field list. And then there's a sheet for each one, for each one, just instantaneous. So that's a great use for the uh, pivot table. Here's our original pivot table, the pivot table field or report filter. All right, so pivot tables, totally amazing. We'll see you next YouTube. Uh, Excel is fun, and there's the link right there you can click on.